welcome to third module of fluid mechanics and hydraulics that is fluid dynamics in the previous two modules we have seen properties of fluid fluid statics and fluid kinematics so after fluid statics and fluid kinematics now we are going to study about fluid motion with the forces causing the flow so the study of fluid motion with forces causing flow is known as fluid dynamics okay so basically the fluid dynamics is analyzed using newton's second law of motion and for this purpose the fluid is assumed as incompressible and non viscous so throughout this module for every analysis of the fluid the fluid is considered as incompressible and non viscous so first going to the equation of motion that is the newton's second law of motion according to newton's second law of motion that net force in the direction of x will be equal to mass multiplied by acceleration in x direction okay that is fx that is force in x direction will be equal to mass into acceleration in x direction so newton's second law is force equal to ma especially if it is in x direction fx equal to m into x okay now in the fluid in fluid flow we do have different forces present in it so the main forces that is present in a fluid flow are gravity force pressure force forces due to viscosity forces due to turbulence and forces due to compressibility for the easiness i represent gravity force by f suffix g pressure force by f suffix p viscous force by f suffix v turbulent forces due to turbulence by f suffix t and compressibility f suffix c so if you include all these forces into this equation of motion we will get the equation as that is force in x direction will be summation of all those forces that is the first one is gravity force so gravity force in x direction plus next one is pressure force pressure force in x direction plus next one is viscous force so fv in x direction then next one is forces due to turbulence again in x direction plus forces due to compressibility okay so this will be the net force in the x direction that is the summation of gravity pressure viscous turbulence and compressibility force now the case is suppose if i neglect if i neglect force due to compressibility neglect it okay that is the force due to compressibility is very nil then what happens to this equation this equation becomes fx equal to fg plus fp plus fv plus ft right so that equation is known as reynolds equation of motion so reynolds equation of motion is fx equal to fg of x plus fp of x plus fv of x plus ft of x okay similarly if so this is reynolds equation of motion so next if i consider the force due to turbulence force due to turbulence is negligible then what we comes to this equation the net force will be equal to sum of fg plus fp plus fv that equation is known as navier stark equation navier stark 
equation. So Navier's stock is equation is sometimes known as NS equation also. NS equation. So here what is NS equation? Fx equal to Fg of x plus Fp of x plus Fv of x. Now if I remove this force due to viscosity, if I consider this as negligible, what happens to this equation? The net force will become fx equal to fg of x plus fp of x. That equation is known as Euler's equation of motion. We are going to focus in detail about Euler's equation of motion that is force of gravity in x direction plus force of pressure in x direction. Okay, net force is summation of gravity force plus pressure force. So, we are going to deal with this Euler's equation of motion from which we are going to derive the famous Bernoulli's equation. So, next video we will, you, we will see how the Euler's equation is and then we will try to derive the Bernoulli's equation.